experiencing first level. For a number of years. And in that time, it was an honor and a privilege to work with some really talented parents. One of these was the gentleman on my right, Mr. Chad Bowes. I selected him to play for the Percy First Eleven in his grade 9 year, having seen some real potential in him. Chad has chosen to fly straight overseas, where by all accounts he's doing extremely well. Not that I expected anything else. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you one of Percy's finals, Mr. Chad Bowes. What went so wrong? Well, I can tell you why. A lot of people think it's to do with specific things, but it's not. My dream became my prison. A lot of you are thinking, well, that doesn't really make sense. I was a dream in a prison in the same senses. Well, it was an internal prison that I created in my mind, and I lived inside of that every single day of my life. You see, I allowed external factors to define me as a person. I defined myself by my achievements on the crib hill, and there was no differentiation between child crib and child person. I was always on the field. I was never a bit figuratively speaking. Now, the problem was that I defined myself by my successes, but also by my failures. So whenever I failed on the crib field, I failed enough.
Yeah, sure. Look, uh, Chad arrived at the school, came with a pedigree, obviously. Uh, it didn't take us very long as coaches here to realize that the boy is actually really good. And uh, I've just been newly appointed as the first team coach. And my philosophy in life has always been, you've got to pick the best 11 on a, on a Saturday. And, uh, and seeing his potential and realizing that he was my future, I thought, well, let's throw him in the deep end and see what he can do. So I remember quite clearly walking into class one day and he was sitting against the wall and I said, Chad, I'm taking you to Michaelmas week in September. And in his own quiet way, he just looked at me and said, Th thank you, sir, gentleman that he was. And I took him down there and he was phenomenal. And he never looked back. He, uh, he played magnificent in his first game, got a 50 on debut. Um, and he just, he just matured and, and turned into one of the school's finest. Oh, it means a lot, eh? Just uh, standing up in the chapel earlier talking flood of emotions. Uh, this place means a lot to me. It's not just a school. Um, it was a home for five years for me. Uh, taught me a lot about life. Made me who I am today. Uh, special memories, special people here. Um, we always used to say that our blood is maroon, not red, because the Kersney's colour is maroon. And um, it's not often that you know someone comes back to the old school and actually you know, loves being here. So. It's pretty rare and I, I'm appreciative of that and um, this place this place is unbelievable. It's changed a little bit since I left but um, whenever I have the chance to come back I definitely do and I, I love it.